going to talk today about respiratory rate monitoring for your pet. The respiratory rate is how many breaths your pet takes in a minute. So if you think about yourself breathing, it's the same for your dog or cat. We're going to go out and in, and that's one breath. And then out and in, again, is two breaths. I find it to be easiest to watch the pet from behind or from the front to watch the chest going out and in rather than from trying to feel the respiratory rate with your hand. We're going to do this at rest, so not after excitement, not after a walk, after you just got home. Typically not during sleeping, although if you do it during sleeping every day, then that consistency helps you out. So typically during rest, and we're going to count out and in over the course of one minute. Now, that takes one minute of your time every day. You can get creative mathematically if you'd like to do 30 seconds and multiply that number that you get by two. That would be the same as 60 seconds. You can also take the respiratory rate for 15 seconds and multiply that number by four. The typical respiratory rate for a dog and cat is 10 to 30 breaths per minute. What we're looking for, however, is your dog or cat's current respiratory rate and they're normal. So you may find that their normal is 12 to 15. Every day you're gonna jot it down, the refrigerator, the note on the counter, your phone, wherever it works best, but every day write it down. If your pet's normal, let's say, is between 12 and 15, and then the next day you get 16, and the next day you get 18, and you see the trend is starting to increase, that's when it's very important to contact us here at Central Providence Veterinary Hospital to see what medication adjustments need to be made before we get into a crisis. Dogs and cats compensate with breathing problems that may develop from heart disease, often without us seeing it unless we're counting every day, and then all of a sudden it looks like it just happens and they're in crisis mode, and we don't want to miss our opportunity to adjust medicines and make sure they avoid that scary time. So let us know if we can help. Certainly keep your regular rechecks and veterinary visits, but help us in your veterinary care by monitoring that daily respiratory rate and letting us know if there's a change so we can intervene. Thanks for your time.